Hey guys, sorry I didn't get a chance to paint this one live, but I actually did this at work. So I just wanted to show you some of my little frog sketches that I did. I might have done some of these on live, but this guy I did at work. So, but I love drawing frogs. Frogs are one of my favorite things to draw. They're also one of my favorite things to uh, find in the wild, photograph. I just, frogs, newts, salamanders, I love all that stuff. Any sort of reptile or amphibian, I'm into it. They're really, really fun to um, mess around with the expressions. And they kind of seem simple, but like they're not. Like they're very, they're very not simple for as simple as they are. I mean, I don't know. I guess that doesn't really make sense, but um, but doing a lot of 3D has sort of helped me with like figuring out shapes. I was having a lot of trouble with figuring out how to make his face, his profile. But this actually helped a lot, like kind of creating that separation with like the mouth and the and the body, like just making it the two layers that helped a lot. Now I'm just messing around with some faces. And it does, a lot of people were saying that it looks like the character from from Rio 2. I can't remember the name of that, that little frog character. But that frog character is I'm happy that these look like that because to me that's like the that's such a great breakdown of what a frog looks like you know from starting from scratch you know I started from a poison dart frog and other frogs that I've been drawing over the years and like you sort of just have to break down their anatomy in a way that kind of works in a cartoon style and they did it really really well so uh, the fact that it looks like that character, then I, I, you know, it's cool because that means I'm going in the right direction. I still have to figure out some things, like how I want to always connect it to the head. There's just little, little things that I have to sort of uh, work on in order to build like a an easy way to draw these characters. So I originally started him in a purple color just because the uh, the original color that I sketched was red so I just used a different color to to um, to draw him or to color to start the color. And he has white legs and white hands as well. color's a little off, but it's not too bad. That's a better, the color's better there. Better representation of the color. And this was me sort of figuring out how I wanted to make a Instagram post that I haven't posted yet. I'm going to post that soon. And this is the final, final drawing. And this is the actual color. Oh, that looks pretty good. But if I tap it, it's going to go on the, yeah, that's, that's more of the actual color. But see, I can't, once I tap it, um, then that stupid yellow ring is there. But uh, I just want to do a quick one and show you guys my little strawberry frog. So I can get this thing off of it now. Because uh, I had fun drawing them and I wasn't able to do it live. So I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys. I think I'm going to do... I might do a live tonight around 11. We'll see um, whenever my fiance goes to bed and I have some free time. Is this so? Oh, it feels like it's feels like it's tilted. There we go. So yeah, just wanted to do a quick one. Thank you guys for coming by and watching my behind the page. Uh, I always like doing these because then I can add my little animation that I did in Procreate. I don't know. I love that little animation. The the uh, behind the page animation but anyway i will see you guys on live later uh subscribe drop me a comment say hello let me know what kind of frog i should draw next keep drawing and i will catch you guys in the next video
Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing and I'll see you in the next video.